From Booth 2940 in Hall D in Anaheim, California, it's This or That with Adam Willen. Tonight's guest, Grammy Award winning drummer, Ronald Bruner Jr. Charlie Watts or Ringo Starr? Charlie Watts. All right, Dave Grohl or Dave Weckl? Oh, man. Yeah. Oh. No, I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm gonna let that go down. No, I'm not gonna let that go down. <laughs> I'm gonna say, ooh, I love them two so much. They're so yeah, they're totally just Daves. That's the only thing that's the same. And they got. Can sticks. I just say Dave? <laughs> Somebody okay, okay, I, okay, I, uh, okay. As a kid, <clears throat> before Grow hit, Weckle was really, really big the guy. thing. So I got to say Weckle as, as a as a child. That's fine. I got into middle school then Grow. Justify it. Okay, okay. okay. You're wrong. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Would you rather play a show on a full stomach, like you just ate a big, big meal, or play a show when you're sick? Oh, yeah, I could do food. Sick is horrible, man. Sick is terrible. Sick is horrible. Mind, every time, isn't right. Every time the song ends and you're going to the next tune and you're waiting that whatever couple of minutes or a couple of 30, 40 seconds, that pain, that, that feeling comes back, I'm, oh, no. Yeah, I'd rather have a fools. I'd rather have three chicken pot pies, uh, two cakes. <laughs> Do you eat before you some play? Bites, a, a bucket of bison teeth, uh, uh, two, two eagle breasts. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's too much. That's too much. I, no, yeah, I'm getting rather, sick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, would you rather play a show with no monitors at all or you have the singer's mix? No monitors at all, bro. Yeah, right? Keep that. <laughs> keep that. <laughs> Keep that out, man. I can, if I can, man, um, hell no. That's why I asked. I had to. Ah, uh, no. Nah, mm -mm. <laughs> no, the, 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 the singer's mix and, and the mix. Oh, no. No, no, no. no. All right. Trainer. All right. Would you rather cut your own hair or let a friend cut it? And I get to choose the friend. <laughs> I'm cutting my own. <laughs> That's right. Because do you have any four year old friends? I'm choosing them. <laughs> That's who it is. You didn't have a mess. You a mess up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Would right. you rather be the best badminton player mm -hmm. on the planet or you find $68 on the street? $68, mother, um, uh, $68. Yep. That's the right answer. On the airplane, are you aisle or window? Aisle. What's your worst airplane experience? Oh, Jesus, man. I was just talking to Dennis about this yesterday, man. My worst experience. Whew. I have three that are like top. Like, like, right. death. <laughs> it, like, like, just saying, and you know how you just like, you just sum your, you know, you kind of just sum your thing up with the creator. You had to go through it all that. It was like, well, you know what? Three Check different times up. you've had to do this. Yeah, I've had three oh. really bad. I mean, the, the, the yeah. The, I'll go on. I'll go on from the easiest to worst. The, traveling from Spain to Portugal on a prop plane in a storm. Second worst is flying from Austin to LA in a storm. And then the, the, the top, the top worst, the top number. Well, should, I'm actually going backwards, three, two, one. Best one, the best scare ever was coming out of Telluride, Colorado. Ooh. Flying from Telluride through those mountains back to Denver International Airport. It was, I got off the plane, I told the cat I was working with, don't you ever. <laughs> Make me do that shit I, I, will, I, I was like, hey man, I love playing with you. But I will never do that flight again. You could call me like, hey, Ronald, man, I got a million bucks for it. I'd be like, hey, check this out. I'd rather skateboard. I'm going to drive there. <laughs> Have you flown into Aspen? Yes, that's You know too. that all, crazy, all that, all like that. you come around that corner and then you got to like, you're in, you're, the mountains all on all All those miniature sides. airports that are, that are governed by mile high winds, man, this is bush. <laughs> Keep me, I'm, I'm, I'd, I'd, rather, I'd rather get on a tractor and drive up a hill in a rainstorm with electricity hitting the ground before I do that flight again. I'd rather have no top on a car for two weeks, butt naked with some backpack straps and two leather women next to me. You know what the leather women are, but that you and the leather women's mother's. But I'm telling you, man, I'd rather do anything else. How do you really feel about that? Yeah, man. We're gonna do word association. Let's do it. I'm gonna give you one word. You're gonna give me whatever comes to mind as quick as you can. Okay. All right. China symbol. Knuckles. <laughs> Coffee. Up. Oh. Drum solo. Yeah. Tequila shot. Rest assist. <laughs> Ride symbol. Sweet. Uh, practice. Hardness. Splash symbol. No way. Idle. Sex. Reward. Grizzly bear backs. 
You said free war? No, reward. Oh, I thought you said free war. <laughs> I was like, grizzly bear backs. <laughs> I don't even know what that is, but I almost want it to be for reward. It's like reward. Grizzly bear backs, you know, as you do. What? Jeez, man, you're tripping me up. <laughs> Next. Uh, success. Great taco, bro. Like a great taco. Success is a great taco. Ronald Bruner Jr. <laughs> My man. <laughs>